Hello everyone and welcome back to another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. I have a bit of interesting news. Um, this is actually going to be a re-recording because my last session with this, I ended up and getting all the way to the end of the game and recording the ending and then realizing that the sound settings were absolutely miserable. So I decided to re-record it for you. So you're going to see some saves that uh, pertained to the other way that this all went. But I assure you, I'm going to be doing things no differently. I just want to make sure that these sound settings... Oh, and you may notice that this is not Denerim. This is not even the Kalanhad, where I was before. This is Redcliffe Village, because there's one more quest that I actually missed before, um, that I actually discovered after I had... Uh, uh, bef after the point, it would have been too late to actually finish it. So, anyway... Um, as well show you what that one is, huh? That's the map. Good job. Um, which was the Mage's Collective. Yes. Now you can defy the Collective or defend the Collective. But basically, um, there's testimony about the Collective, members of the Collective, that could be delivered either to uh, Knight Commander Tavish in Denrim or Knight Commander Harith. And since we're sympathetic to the Mage's Collective, we're going to deliver it to Knight Commander Harith. And here you are again. More generosity from my friends at the Collective. I have a package for you from the Mage's Collective. Oh? Oh, oh yes, of course. I'll see to this matter personally. Consider it handled, my friend. Good day. Quest updated. Return to the Mage's Collective for your reward. Fantastic. And since there happens to be a Mage's Collective operative in this town... Oh. And actually, there is one love letter that I think I missed here. I forget. I'm trying to see what I can do to actually complete this game. Obviously, there's no points for 100% completion, but I forgot this to check... This should be easy enough. This chest before? Spirit shard. Um, I thought there was a love letter. Oh, great. Something else I have to check in in between videos. Okay, mom is thick. I waste time. Anyway. So, yeah, I got all the way to the end of the game, and I was like, Yes! I'm done recording! Oh, this is wonderful! And then I actually listened to the videos, and I was like, Oh, man. And I remember being frustrated over missing a few things, like this quest here, and, and taking care of some other stuff down the line as well. Um, so, here I am, re-recording for you. The Mages Collective thanks you. Make us smile upon you. Wonderful. And do you have anything here for me? No, you don't. Good. Okay, so, that out of the way. Now we make our way back to dinner. <laughs> as fun as this part of the game is. Do I have something for you? Oh, I do, actually. Your efforts are greatly appreciated. This is for the grease the grease the wheels and the notices appreciation. So let's double check. Um, ah, there we go. I said Blackstone Regulars. Yes. Notices of death, scraping the barrel. I could not deliver all the letters because I missed the guy in uh, Lothering. My mistake. And grease the wheels. So, side quests. Yay. Um, yeah. It's also been a little while since I last recorded, actually, so there are some, um, I don't remember everything that I did. And of course I'm going to get to a certain point where I'm like, you know, I don't care, I just want to end the game, get out of here. <sighs> Running around Denerim, or not Denerim, this is Redcliffe. What are you thinking, Lindsay? Um, let's see. 
Uh, codex, uh, let's see, notes. Correspondence interruptus. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I'm missing three. So that's going to be something actually that I'm going to have to check um, in between videos. Although I don't know how much longer I can hold off uh, going to Denrum and doing the lands meet. Well, I've got quite a few things that I also need to take care of also. Like I need to clear up my inventory, a lot of stuff I gotta get rid of. Got some donating to do, gift giving. Well, on it. That'll have to happen later on. But let's go to camp. Oh, which actually reminds me. There will be a conversation I need to have with Liliana, so I may as well take care of that now. At least I hope. <laughs> I hope I can do it now. For some reason, I've neglected actually talking to her in camp. Yeah, yeah, you can see the, the savings. The saves. You can see the savings. Redoing it. Indeed. So, I think Liliana has something interesting to say to us. Oh, hello. Is there something you wanted to talk about? I'd like to talk about what happened, or... Yeah, I'd like to talk about what happened today. She's referring to Marjolaine. I never talked to Liliana and camp after that. It's... it's nothing. I'm fine. I'm just thinking. You're less talkative than usual. I can't get what happened out of my head. I'd been in Lothering for years, and she still thought I was plotting against her. She didn't trust me. Maybe she never did. She loved me when she could use me and control me. And now that she can't, she wants me dead. It... It hurts to realize that I never really knew her. And also, for those of you curious, um, Liliana is one of the other characters that you can harden in this game, as I mentioned before. And this would be the conversation in which you could do it. Basically, she starts to worry about her own nature. Um, is there anything I can do? You are already helping so much by listening to me. I knew she was ruthless, but I didn't know how far she could go. She is self-serving, cruel. She uses people, then discards them, but that's how she survives in the life she leads. What, what if she's right? What if we're the same? I... I should just have stayed in the Chantry. Hmm. But you said the Maker wanted you to leave. I could have been wrong about the Maker. I... I know you doubt me sometimes. Maybe you're right. Maybe. Maybe I just tell myself he's there to console myself, to know there's someone watching out for me, to know I'm not alone. Oh. You're not alone, Liliana. But I was. I was alone and desperate when I fled to Ferelden. I went to the only place I knew would take me. I forgot my life as a bard while I was in the cloister. I felt safe. I didn't have to watch my back all the time. That's what made Marjolaine the person she is, don't you see? It ruined her. It will ruin me too. Even now, I feel some regret at not ending her life in order to protect my own. What's important is that you didn't act on it. What we're doing, what we've done, hunted men down, killed them, part of me loves it. It invigorates me and this scares me. I... I feel myself slipping. Ah, uh, you are a good person. You always will be. How can you be so sure? Evil doesn't worry about not being good. That... that is true. I can always trust you to show me things from a different perspective. I would like to be alone for now. I have many things to consider. Thank you for listening to me. Alright, and I'm out of time for this installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins, or just about anyway. 
Um, but yeah, that would have been an opportunity to harden her. I just chose not to harden her for, you know, my own purposes. But for example, if say you were in a relationship with Liliana and you wanted to learn the dualist thing um, by having fun below deck, um, you'd have to have hardened Liliana, but then you can have her in the threesome. But anyway, so I'll see you on the next installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Hope to see you then.